And I'm Dr. David Rowe. I'm the medical director of the lung transplant and ECMO programs at Methodist Hospital. As an associate medical director for Indiana Donor Network, my main responsibility is really managing the donors for the state. One of the passions that I have is really trying to maximize organ donation per donor. I always tell potential transplant patients that we really have an equal responsibility to the donor as we do to that patient. The recipient benefits the most from the gift, but without the donor, there would be no gift of life. And so we make it very clear to all of our recipients here that this is a very rare opportunity for them. And it's our responsibility to protect that gift. And that's why my colleagues at IU Health and liver transplant and heart transplant and uh, kidney transplant do the same because I think we all have a great respect for the act of donation. I'm very proud of the fact that Indiana Donor Network leads the nation in organs transplanted per donor for two years, which is remarkable. But there are things we can do better, and there are things that we continue to talk about how can we do this better, especially when we have limited resources. There's only so many on-site coordinators, right? There's only so many coordinators we can deploy to manage donors across the state because we cover a huge geographic area. Uh, so we want to maximize their time and we want to maximize our ability to manage these patients. When I manage a donor, I'm thinking about all those other organ recipients. It's not just about the lungs. It's about every organ recipient that we can help. Because there are people dying on the wait list every day. And so if we miss an opportunity or we unfortunately lose an organ that if we would have taken a little bit more time or paid a little bit more attention to or done something up front, then that's a huge bonus for everybody. Everybody wins.